we've done a small phase two study, which uh, it was in basically on patients who have uh, who are being treated with standard of care, which could include nintinidib, perfenidone, or, or neither of those drugs. Uh, we did uh, treated uh, actually 41 patients, one of whom dropped out after a couple of weeks due to uh, an IPF exacerbation that was probably starting at the time of the initial starting on the, when they were started on the drug. Uh, and that patient was on profenadone. So in the final grouping, we actually had nine patients who were on uh, PBI 4050 alone, uh, 15 on profenadone and 16 on uh, uh, nintendidib, uh, also with uh, 4050. Uh, and at, at the end of the evaluation, it was safe and well tolerated. Uh, for, for all three groups uh, and what we saw is that there was a stabilization of uh, lung function in the PBI-40 alone and in the PBI-40 with nintinidib at 12 weeks. So this was a 12-week treatment, treatment trial, short trial, but actually demonstrated these things. So there was almost no change with uh, the combination of 40-50 and, and uh, uh, nintinidib and a, a minor chain, change of around 10, cc, 10 milliliters for uh, an FEC for uh, PBI 4050 alone. However, there was a, a larger than expected decline in uh, the combination of PBI 4050 with perfenidone, likely due to a drug-drug interaction in, involving the absorption of both PBI 4050 and in the absorption of perfenidone.